right, we are back in Nevada. We're uh, found a place. Actually, stayed here back in 2020. Also, um, Water Canyon Recreation Area. Forget what town it is. With these awesome snow-capped mountains right behind me, big valley slash canyon. And then off in the distance. Um, so, yes, we got here uh, mid-afternoon, and then I went ahead around 3:30. We took a made a hike up over that hill and over there to see what we got to work with. And this is the first first nice warm weather we've had in a while. Today's it's in the 60s. Tonight's one is supposed to be down to 45. So if you haven't noticed, I don't have my photography bag on. I got my backpacking bag. So looking at last night, it's supposed to be clear skies tonight uh, for the most part. So, and the moon's gonna be out. So we're gonna do some moonlit, moonlit photography of these snow snow covered mountains. I think those have come out two videos ago when I was in that windy cold weather. Two nights after I filmed that, it got real clear and no wind and the moon was super bright. So I took some moonlit shots of those mountains. I think they come out pretty decent. I haven't done a whole lot of those. I'll throw them up here. Um, so that's what we're doing today. Picked out a spot last night that'll be out of the wind. That way we can do sunset and some moon late at night and get up early in the morning and see what we can get for morning shots. So first time I got to do this, it's not gonna be too cold tonight and tomorrow's supposed to be just about the same. So looking forward to it. The nice little change of scenery says staying in the camper and having to get up super early to make my way to the spot. So when we get up there, I'll get back with you. Let's crack on. We finally made it to camp up top here after checking out the original place I had planned to set up the tent just wasn't just wasn't gonna work out plus doesn't seem like now wherever I go the wind's just hitting us anyway so found this spot here I figured if we're gonna be getting hit by wind from all directions so I'd pick the best viewpoint we, can, we want to sit in the tent and overlook the whole vast area so I brought my entrenching tool we're just gonna clear up some of these rocks make a best I can pitch a tent and grab something to eat but I think there's plenty of opportunities I'm really looking forward to tonight and see what we can come up with so I'm really looking forward to it so we're gonna go ahead and start clearing this area out Grab something to eat, and I'll be back with you in a few. that ought to do.
got the tent set up. But as I was unpacking my backpack and get the sleeping bag and all that stuff out, just happened to look down in here. I think it's some sort of geocache. I mean, it's in a it's in a pipe, so hopefully, hopefully, it don't go boom. But let's <laughs> look at that. All by accident. Geocaching.com game piece. I'll have to look that up and go ahead and sign it. Sweet, didn't expect that. Find all kinds of things out here. Well, I don't think I have a pen. I didn't even think about that. So maybe I can just take some photos of it, video it, do what I can. Maybe go to that website. Maybe I can post it on there or something. Because I'm not walking all the way back up here just to sign a piece of paper. <laughs> Last person. Uh, first one is Bubba WMCA. I don't know. July 10th, 2022 at 7.38 a.m. Someone got up here early. Or they did what I did. But I didn't see any cleared out area. And then Val Hikes. Val Hikes. October 9th of 2022. I bet it was chilly then up here. But see what I can do. Hopefully maybe I can post it on their website or I don't know. But anyway, if anybody in the geocaching.com, I found it. Totally by accident. So here's proof. Alright, everything's set up. Ready to go. That wind's picking up, so I don't know how it's gonna come out on that, but we're just gonna relax for a while. Sun's gonna set down over there. So hopefully it lights inside this big canyon or valley nicely later on. Um, if there's no clouds in the sky, I'll just do some tight end shots of the details of the mountains. Well, I'll go over that when I come back. But for now, pack me a sandwich before I left. Hopefully it's not all smashed from being jammed in the pack. But with that, we're just gonna sit, enjoy. We got about four hours until sunset and about another five and a half, six hours before we can go ahead and start doing some stars. And then a little while after that, moon. Moon will come out over top of those mountains. So looking forward to it. And it's gonna be a nice night. So we'll see you this evening. two hours before actual sunset it's you know 525 right now but well, I went ahead and just came down here with my camera and tripod and trying to just find stuff I did that earlier um, but the lights kind of changed on those mountains now and there are some clouds on real high real thin so I just put my 70 to 300 on trying to find some tighter in shots and I was doing that right there I don't know I'm not I got I can't see my screen so somewhere out in there that hillside mountainside that's completely white going right through the middle and it's almost like a line of rocks peeking up out of the snow so it's really interesting I like it. it's real minimalistic and I can't zoom in far enough I'm getting close so I'm shooting at a one by one crop and then after I get done editing it, I'm gonna go ahead and crop it uh, three by six. So it'll be long and narrow since those rocks are going at a horizontal. So when I do that, I'll be able to block out any part of the mountain. So it'll just be white background with those rocks going across. So things gonna come out nice so I'm just, while we're still waiting for that sun, we're I'm gonna go ahead and start taking some photos and see where it gets us.
Well, it's been a few hours since I snapped that other photo a little bit ago. Sun's still a little bit too bright to grab anything else. It was just too harshly lit. So now, yeah, I think it's going on 6.30 almost. So that sun's going to start dropping pretty quick. Um, what I got framed up right now, one thing I like about these mountains, especially with all the snow, and you got all these jagged rocks just sticking out of the snow. It's just awesome contrast. The sky is just really blue above it. So all I'm doing right now is just taking nice tight shots of the details, uh, more minimalistic type shots. So right, right out there, again, I don't know if I'm pointing the right area for you, but you got this ridge line of, of jagged rocks and I got it framed up so that's kind of in the left part of frame and then you got all this white snow to the right of it with little pieces of rock sticking in and out of it so I got that framed up um, after I take it I'll let you know what the, the settings are because I got to hold the polarizer in front of it so, still bright, so I'm still able to shoot pretty quick. So, let's go ahead and grab this shot and let's see how this comes out. And I hope you like it. that shot still waiting that sun to go down a little bit more so hopefully that light gets a little bit more gets a little softer and those shadows get a little softer because I see some pieces out there that I think are gonna make for decent shots nice just detailed shots I'm looking at one right now um, but just kind of waiting for that sun to get a little softer um, so that's what I'm doing with it right now the wind has picked up a little bit more still in the upper 50s feels like um, but just a little bit chilly this is perfect just breaks the wind a little bit we're gonna have to get Harvey's jacket here he's tucked away in the rocks trying to get out of the wind so he I think he thinks we're going back tonight and she's just waiting to go back to the truck which I guess he doesn't realize yet that I set the tent up and that's what it's for so <laughs> we'll find out later it's gonna be a long night so we're gonna we're gonna hang out a bit more wait for that sun to go down some more I really want to get some shots of these mountains in the distance but right now it's just so hazy um, way off in distance kind of why I choose this spot is from where I'm setting you got the main mountains were photographed in the night but in the off in the back you got another really big mountain range a lot bigger than this one completely snow covered and then between that one and this one, we got more mountains with snow caps. And I'm hoping where that moon comes up, it's gonna light those really nicely in the background. So I'm hoping we can get this and then those in the background lit up. So what I see in my mind, but you know how it is. Sometimes you see one thing and it doesn't turn out the way you're thinking it is. So. But yeah, we're just keep at it. Just keep working with that sun and uh, see if we can come up with some other shots. So I'll be back with you. All right, so we moved we moved down from where we just were 20 feet. Went ahead and threw my 24 to 70 on and taking a big wider wider shot of this whole scene with the polarizer on. I was able to darken up that blue some and it's pulling out whatever clouds is in the back. I still kept a lot of the sky out just enough to separate the, the mountains because we got this that sun going down now it's getting more golden goldish light. So and then also in the foreground we got all this awesome real jagged and detailed rock in the foreground. So we got this big rock that's 
really forward in the foreground. And then as you go through, we got all this other rocky, jagged rocks. It's just really cool looking. So, and then the light is, the light is just lighting up the peaks and different parts of the, of the mountain itself. So I took a few shots already, kind of liking the way they come out. I think, I think I'll go ahead and flip it up and try to do a panorama and try to get a bit more of it all in one shot. Because I got this over on this side. Uh, the way I'm, the way I just shot, I'm just kind of getting this portion, and we got the right side, right side of this mountain where it starts going down to the valley. That's splitting up real nice. So I'm gonna flip it up and shoot ourselves a panorama. So while I'm doing that, hope you like the shot. Just grab. So the other parts I saw that I wanted to take with the, my longer lens, get some tighter shots. They're starting to look a lot better now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my 70 to 300 put back on and grab some of those. If I'm pointing, hopefully I'm pointing the right one. But straight out in front of me, you got this really fine big, big, big clump of rock. And that's what I'm going for. That light's really hitting that real nice right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and Actually, probably just move up top, throw my other lens on, and get a few shots of that, and see how those come out. for a while now wait for that sun to go down for the to get dark and it looks like a bunch of clouds off that way but it looks like it's going to stay pretty nice and clear for the rest of the night hopefully even if it isn't even if some clouds roll in it still looks nice that moonlit mountain and that the the area just lights up it's almost like daytime almost when you're shooting with the moonlight trigger plugged in some long exposure I'm gonna try to do some star trails I forget when that sun's supposed to, or the moon's supposed to come back out but for 
first things first is what I usually do. Well, what I always do is I always crank my ISO up the 6400, put all it f2.8, just take a test shot, get the correct exposure with that. And then on my phone, I got the app called Photo Pills where I can go in and put all that information in and then go down and hopefully, especially when that moon comes out, I can shoot down say around 400 ISO and still get hopefully maybe under uh, 15 seconds or below 30 seconds. But first we're gonna try for some star trails. So it's gonna be set up and let it go. So try to shoot as low as ISO as I can without, I don't wanna really go anything over a minute Plus it's real windy, so we'll do a couple test shots at a minute and see see how those come out. But I'm gonna go ahead and go through that since I'm filming on my phone and I need my phone for the photo pills. Um, I'll go ahead and shut that off and I'll come back when I get everything set up. The lowest ISO I can go to get a decent shutter speed. I'll still have a little bit of noise to take out, but a minute 22, at ISO 640 and f2.8 so zoomed all the way out 24 mil the hardest thing about doing stuff like this is obviously it's dark when the moon's out really bright you can actually look through the viewfinder and focus for the most point but right now I can't so zoom all the way out 24 mils real wide or if you're going wider like 14 you got more depth of fields to go to that. And when you start telephoting in, the deeper and deeper you're in, the more shallow depth of field goes. And that's where stuff like this, you really gotta make sure you can get focus real good. So if you pull all the way out the 24 mil, even at F2.8, it's so wide, you got a lot, lot more depth of field. So, but doing all out 24 and I crank that, uh, my focus ring all the way to infinity and just turn it back just slightly back and that usually gets me pretty good as far as the focus goes really want that star trail since we're pointing south so we should be able to get a nice arc effect of the star trails and so one uh minute 22 i got a minute 24 because i still got my shutter release two second timer so time i start this Time it gets to a minute 22, then it'll fire, and I get the correct exposure at minute 22. And we're just gonna push it. I got it set to 399 photos, not gonna go that long, but we're just gonna set it and forget it, and we'll come back and check on it, check on it a little bit. So, I'll get back with you. I was down here about 30, mon 30 minutes into it, just to check it, make sure the exposures were still correct with the minute 22, make sure it wasn't too bright, too dark. And while I was down there, I went out, went ahead and changed out the battery because it was only half, it was at like 50%. So I was like, I'll just change it. And I went back up and it's been about another hour and came down. Trigger was still going. It was still trying to take shots, but the camera shut off. So apparently I threw uh, more dead of a battery in there. Luckily, it got enough shots before it shut off apparently, so That's good But from looking at the back of the screen what I saw looks like everything's looking good Another thing I'll do too is I'll pull up the photo in the back and I'll pick a star on the screen And I'll just run that wheel backwards and just flip through all the photos real quick and just watch that star and see if it makes a complete arch or almost a complete arch. So, which they do, um, might be off a little bit, but we're gonna have a really nice um, star trail arch going on. I was checking earlier for, um, see when that moon was supposed to come out, and I guess I was looking at, I don't know what I was looking at before, evidently not the right times, um, because it's not showing to break the horizon until I think around 12 12 30 i mean that's only an hour and a half but it's been a long day long night um it's not supposed to be peak moon until about 3 a.m probably gonna set my alarm um for maybe say 2 30 and if i feel like getting up i'll get up if not 
if I don't, it won't be the last chance I had to do something like this. And I know we're walking away with some really nice photos for this, for this trip. So. flip this up and I've done this one other time I've only done it one other time ever and it was during this trip I took a panorama with stars they won't be star trails just frozen star like actual stars look like starry sky um, so I'll take one image exposed to the mountains take another image for the stars shift it and do the same thing so it'll be a total of six shots i'll merge them in the two separate panoramas stack them in photoshop do my final touches and it should come out pretty nice so that's what i'm gonna do because there's so much snow covered mountains and i don't want to focus on just this one spot so let's go get go ahead and get set up with that and i'll be right back Thing set up for the panorama shot got our for the for the mountain exposure it's gonna be a long exposure of a minute and five seconds at ISO 800 I like to try to go the lowest ISO I can because uh, a lot of people oh you can bump your ISO way up I still like to try to reduce as much noise as possible um, so 800s a minute long exposures ain't ain't gonna hurt anything as far as people worry about too much noise or that I just don't like the way real high ISO looks as far as noise um, especially for the detail of the mountain shot so ISO 800 a minute five seconds for that one for the for the sky for the stars I'm going up to a thousand ISO for 15 seconds and at that speed you get a slight trail of the stars, but you got to zoom way in to pick it up. So um, that's why I'm going with 15 seconds. I don't, I don't want to have to. I really don't like jumping my ISO up that far. That's just my personal preference. Um, so star shot ISO 100 or ISO 1000 f 2.8 for 15 seconds. The mountain shot, it's going to be ISO 800 F2.8 at a minute five. So I'll go ahead. This is already set up to take one for the stars. So I'll do that. Switch over to the bulb mode. Hit the trigger. Let it go. Shift over. And I'll be back when I take get all the shots done. This will be the last shot of the night. Um, don't think I'm going to get up at three for the moon. So... But who knows? I change my mind all the time. So I'll be right back with you when we're done. Just now starting to try to peek up above those mountains and I'm not gonna stick around for it because we'll just end up shooting kind of the same thing it is 12 30 now I'm tired I've been at this all day long Hari is wore out and I just don't think I'll get much more um, the light I would get from that moon it almost look the same as the long exposure I took at a minute five so um, the only thing the moon would do is maybe light more of the foreground 
just not gonna mess with that. I'll do that some other time. So, with all that, great day. Come up with some nice photos. But I'm tired, ready to go to bed. I'm gonna pack it up. And I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope you might have learned a little something if you didn't know much about Star Trails. I know I probably didn't go into too much detail, but I might, maybe I'll do a video later on go into a little bit more detail possibly. But I'm gonna close it out there because I'm tired and I just keep rambling. So hope you enjoyed the video. Um, look forward to your comments, which photo you like the best. And until, until the next time, have a good one and good night.